Who's your good boy? Back in 2018, there was a contest called the Cookie Pro Contest. It was an entrepreneur experience to meet with female executives in New York. And you might have the chance to be on a Girl Scout cookie box for 2020. So 25,000 girls in the nation applied. Six for chosen, I was one of the six. So I was just ecstatic, it was amazing. Funny story, she applied on her own, I had no idea what she was getting herself into, and we didn't know that it was 25,000 applicants until the end. It was just one of those like, wow, you've earned it, and you've earned it on your own. So this is public speaking, this is first aid, and then these are cookie pins. So this says I sold however many cookies. So I started Girl Scouts when I was in fourth grade. When I first joined, I'm like, oh, we're selling cookies. I was just like everyone else. Then I found out there's leadership programs, there's camps, there's places you could travel to all around the world, and I'm like, this is amazing. If you look closely at the boxes, you see different things that the girls are doing. For my box, for example, we're doing public speaking. So it's not just about, oh, I'm buying a box of cookies that I could get anywhere. That's what's awesome about Girl Scouts, is always trying to promote what women can do in their communities or what they could do outside of just, hey, I'm selling this today. Great. And on my other side, this is the highest award I could earn when I was a junior. It's called the Bronze Award. I will recommend the Girl Scouting program to anybody. All the girls have such an amazing environment where they can develop not only the friendship skills, but the personal skills. Being able to just cooperate with one another and empower one another as little girls, it's definitely an experience that any girl should have an opportunity to do. So a couple months ago, it's a whole unveiling. So there's balloons, there's people saying congratulations, and I'm like in tears. I'm like, wow, they actually chose me. <laughs> Being recognized is kind of like pretty cool, but that's not what I was doing it for. I was doing it because it was an experience of a lifetime. I never know if I'll be able to go back to New York or meet with those people I've been able to meet with. And some of the girls that I met through it were actually friends now. Like, this is very like humbling in a sense because girls in my troop are like, I know that girl and I get to be a role model for them and I find that just awesome and maybe other girls can be inspired like, you know what, she did it, I could do this.